I guess the best nickname you could uh, come up with today is Clutch. Uh, your kids were clutch. They got the two runs they needed in a, in a bizarre situation, and your pitcher was just uh, stellar on the mound. Yeah, we you know we have, we have set our sights on on Barneville uh, ever since the schedule came out, and, and that that is a complete and, and, and most sincere compliment to Lance and his program. Uh, those guys got a target on their back all the time, and, and they should. They're they're a fantastic team, and we we were sure hoping we could play at their level this year. We came up here in that first doubleheader and just didn't play to the to the ability I, I thought we could have been, and we we were really. Really pushing pretty hard to try to get a chance to, to be back in this game today and play up here on this field, and it, the kids came through. What did Matt do so well on the mound? I mean, he rolled through a, a number of those innings, and uh, you know, it, it just didn't seem like uh, he was all that rattled. He had good control, struck out a fair number of batters this afternoon. What did you see as being the key with him? Well, you know, our pitching this whole season, we, we strike out some guys, but we're not an overpowering team as far as pitching is concerned. You got to throw strikes. We've got a, a good, solid crew that plays defense, and. You know, it, Matt cons consistently threw strikes, didn't put guys on the base paths, and when he did put, put guys on the base paths, we come up with some pretty nice plays there. But the pickoff play at third base uh, really well. At second at first, but we didn't get what we needed yeah. there. And when we got the pickoff player at third, you could just see the confidence continue to grow because, you know, we knew that these guys are going to be a great team. They're going to hit the ball. They're going to play defense, and we've got to do everything little thing right. And fortunately, we got away with... with you know, not, not bunting as well as we should have and moving guys over and, and still were able to come out with it. Thank you. The, uh, the key inning there offensively, the fifth inning where you get the, the couple runners aboard and then load the bases and and uh, and then Hopman puts one on the ground in the second and you knew at that point there wasn't a play at the plate, you were going to come out with a lead, but uh, to come out with two, how good was that and, and how big a deal was that to, in this ball game? Yeah, yeah, I mean, when it's this close and it's already to that point of the game, we've, we really had no runners uh, past second base uh, pretty much the whole night there. Uh, we didn't, they didn't, uh, and uh, you knew that any runs were going to be important, but that extra insurance run was great. We really hoped that we could have started that seventh thing out, inning out. We got that guy on base and then we got, had a pickoff move and, and got ourselves picked off, and really that extra insurance run always makes a, makes a big difference. Quick sander on the bases, we said on the air. That's what's keeping the, getting these guys uh, with their heavy feet. But uh, what, what I mean, the the, the move by uh, Hauser to, to dislodge the ball. I mean, it looked as though both guys had you know, were entitled to their space where where the play happened. Uh, what do you coach in that situation? How did you know? How did that happen? I, I think you know what I would have normally coached and said to him is, why are you running into a tag in the first place? But it all happened so quickly that I think he thought. He had a chance to get by him when he fielded the ball, and I don't believe that there was any maliciousness in that at all. I, I think by the time he got there and the kid reached out his arms, they just they just collided with each other pretty hard, and it rolled him on the ground. And we got lucky that ball popped loose, and uh, the umpire, you know, called the called the right call. It's, he was out clearly, and that ball came loose well after after Colin hit him. But it was nice to get that second guy around. Yeah, he kept that the second guy running, and, and then with Matt doing what he was doing. It, it seemed like uh, this is one of those uh, pitchers' games where the the guy that had the, the the run, the two run lead, was gonna you know make the most of it. He did, although there were a few I'm sure nervous moments there in the bottom half of the seventh. Well, you know, the, there's nervous moments the whole time. I mean, these guys haven't been to this level yet, and uh, you know, Benton's had some really good teams in basketball, so they've got some kids uh, on this team that have experienced some of this. Uh, our guys had a really good experience at the regional championship against Benton and lost by one in a in a tight basketball game. And that competition, I just I know, makes these guys better all the time. And and you know, nerves or not, you gotta you gotta you gotta make the the right plays and. and, and get it done and, and they did. And so we're thinking neither Shellsburg nor Benton has been to this level in our lifetime. Well I've been coaching since 1992 we have not ever made a section. We've been in a regional final a few times and you know as well as I know it takes a, it takes luck as well as having a good team and, and we had a little bit of that tonight. 1951 I know it's the last team that uh, that uh, really took it a long ways. I know we are, there's some great baseball in the 70s as well but uh, 51 was a state runner-up team. Sure. We still have that uh, plaque uh, <laughs> in our gym and, and we're certainly going to aspire to that level, but as we talked all season long, one, one step at a time. One